everybody. I'm here to make a video for you about the spring equinox and the full moon after the spring equinox. And um, people who are following my Primstav study on the Patreon site uh, will be able to kind of follow along in the materials that I've given you. Um, that you'll see in the Primstav calendar, which is the um, the way that uh, Nordic people uh, try to balance these new church. Uh, oriented Christian dates with the old um, folk traditions that were agriculturally based. And you'll notice on the Primstav that there's this great big uh, blank space between the Primstav date, March 25th, which is the Annunciation of Mary, and uh, April 14th, which is when the Primstav flips from the winter side to the summer side. In Norse tradition, we only have the two um, seasons, winter and summer. And I think of spring and autumn as not seasons so much as um, the attitudes that spring, uh, that uh, winter or summer can take. We have a very spring attitude today here in Minnesota. Um, it, for the first time, it really I could really smell the rain. The, the that there was no there was no snow, smell of snow in the air and the moisture. It it really smelled uh, the earth earthy smell of the rain. So anyway, um, so. Why do you suppose then there's this giant um, sort of space between March 25th and April 14th um, when Easter falls in between there? And it seems, it would seem to just about anybody that Easter would be an important day to put on a, a calendar that is being um, there, that's there to regulate how people behave over, over the course of the year according to church rules, Christian church rules. Well, it's because Easter is a movable feast. It is a lunar holiday. It is a lunar holiday that is based on the Jewish tradition or the Old Testament uh, uh, story about the time when the Israelites were being held as captive slaves in um, Egypt. And the prophet Moses uh, uh, went to the Pharaoh. You can see it on, it, they play it on a movie, the Cecil B. DeMille, wonderful movie and, um, every year. And um, Moses says, you know, you've got to let my people go. And uh, the God of the Israelites brings um, plague and famine and hardship. It turns the river into uh, blood and still the fair won't let the people go and so the last straw is on the full moon the full moon of Aries the first full moon after spring equinox um, the angel of death is going to come through and kill all the firstborn sons and so the um, Israelites were told to put uh, lambs blood uh, over the lintel of their doorways, which is sort of the, th the threshold. This, this is the lintel up there. <laughs> um, and then the angel of death would pass by them. And, um, and so that's what they did. And, and they uh, made uh, unleavened bread and kind of got themselves ready to go. And so that night called Passover is celebrated to this day. Um, in Jewish tradition and also uh, within the Christian context, uh, Passover was the meal that was celebrated by Jesus. Uh, he gave to his disciples and in the Christian liturgy it says, on the night in which he was betrayed, he gave bread to his um, disciples saying, eat, this is the body of uh, given for you. And, the wine is my blood shed for you. And they're all like, 
oh, this is kind of a different Passover. Well, um, at the same time, Judas Iscariot, the knife wielder, uh, was um, uh, betraying his friend and mentor to the Romans. So then, uh, uh, so then it's important for you uh, to know when the full moon is. So the first full moon after equinox is this year on 2020 is April 7th. So that is the, um, the that is the night in which he was betrayed. So, um, right. So then what about all of these, these other dates? Um, so we have, uh, uh, something that is to be done on each of the dates that has a relationship to Christianity, but also has roots that um, predate the Christian teaching. And um, I'm going to go through each of those each day and, um, and make a new video for each of the days that you can follow along with. And um, I'm excited to share this learning and some of these traditions with you and I will uh, be back on um, just just before Palm Sunday so you can get ready all right thanks so much for watching and check out my patreon uh, page Kari time thank you bye